But Alexis, um, if we're looking for laws to, to protect women, you also have to look at what Congress is doing because it seems almost like it's a little bit of the fox guarding the hen house. If you are harassed in, by somebody in Congress, lawmakers and congressional aides are not required to undergo sexual harassment training. Victims have 180 days to initiate complaints. They have to agree to go through counseling and mediation. They have this whole thing they have to go through before they could file any kind of a federal lawsuit. Tell me how it's different, and should we depend on our lawmakers to do something about this? What's your experience? My experience is that for congressional staffers on the Hill, the power or the power dynamic is stacked against them. You know, in a place where really, where your stature and your career depend on your loyalty and relationships, coming forward is career suicide, and you know you you're viewed as being willing to put yourself up against the party and the po policies that you are there to support. And so, as someone who has represented multiple congressional staffers as a staffer once in my prior life. It, the atmosphere on the Hill is that political officials feel like they can get away with it and, and very, as the numbers show, in one survey 40 percent of female Hill staffers said that they were sexually harassed, but last year, according to the Office of Compliance, there were eight staff members who came forward from the House and Senate. So you're looking at a body that has you know, has not regulated and checked itself, and it, you know, are they going to step forward and do it for other people? I, you know, I think that there is starting to be part of this groundswell that we're seeing, which I have to say I've represented hundreds of women in sexual harassment claims over the past 10 years, and I do think that this is a defining moment. I do think that we're seeing a sea change and that women are coming forward, and, you know, we see it in the people coming forward to us. And So, so I guess my question is, if there's a sea change in society at large, and, there, and women are feeling empowered to come forward, Jackie Spear, who, who is a congresswoman from California, who previously was concerned about this issue, just today took to Twitter to tell her story about being forcibly kissed by a high-ranking congressional staff member, um, and she wants to change how sexual abuse reports are handled on Capitol Hill. Could that sea change include not just people in the entertainment industry, not just people in media, but can it go to Congress and can it go to, I guess, some of the more traditional male-dominated bastions uh, all across? Because we know it doesn't matter what business you're in sexual harassment and sexual abuse happens. Absolutely. What Representative Spears is doing is, you know, a profound first step and she's going to lead the vanguard. But I, you know, I think that this is something that all of us who work have worked on this for years and women who have stayed silent for years can come forward and not as you said just in entertainment but on the hill, in finance, in other industries where it's male dominated that that there's power concentrated in the few at the top who feel that they have immunity and that we can really make this time change the laws and change the culture around this kind of abuse. Alexis, Claire, thanks to both of you. A conversation to be continued. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.